thank the Lord. Damos gracias a Dios. We thank the Lord for all those watching on Facebook and on YouTube. We're so glad that you joined us here on Thursday night. Tonight we continue our maturity studies. Continuamos nuestro estudio de madurez. And we're so glad you've been able to join us these last few weeks. And we hope that tonight is a blessing to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 I can think I'm in. Once you greeted your neighbor, you can go back to your seat. Puede regresar a tu asiento. Amen. Gloria al Señor. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Let it be so. Amen. Que así sea. Amen. He's happy. Él está feliz que estamos en la casa del Señor. I'm going to invite you to open your Bible. Te voy a invitar que abras tu Biblia. Al libro de Primera de Corintios, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. Eleven thirteen. it says, when I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, what does the Bible say that happened? I put away childish things. Amen. En español dice, cuando yo era niño, hablaba como niño, pensaba como niño, Juzgaba como niño, mas cuando ya fui hombre, dice, dejé lo que era de niño. Are you ready to let go of those childish things tonight? ¿Está listo para dejar las cosas de niño en esta noche? You may be seated. Puedes tomar tu asiento. We've prayed. Hemos orado. Amen. The Bible tells us that children have a specific way of thinking. Los niños tienen una manera de pensar muy específica. Amen. And when we are children, cuando somos niños, uh, pensamos diferente a un adulto. We think differently than an adult. We take different decisions. And last year, last year, last week we spoke about decisions. La semana pasada hablamos de las decisiones. We spoke about Things that we do that are different when you're a child than when you're an adult. Cosas que son diferentes cuando eres un adulto y cuando eres un niño. And the Bible says that when you're a child, you speak as a child. We understand as a child. And we think as children. Dice que hablamos como niños, pensamos como niños, y juzgamos como niños. I mean, I don't know if you ever found yourself sometimes making childish decisions. Yo no sé si alguna vez has hecho decisiones que son de niño. And you say, you know what, I regret that. Me arrepiento de haber hecho esa cosa. I repent that I took that decision, that I went that way. Que hice esa decisión, que tomé ese rumbo. Amen. But... That happens when you're a child. Y eso sucede cuando somos niños. Cuando no estamos calculando lo que estamos haciendo. And we're not calculating what we're doing. But God doesn't want you to stay a child. Dios no quiere que tú te quedes como un niño. God wants you to grow. Dios quiere que tú crezcas, hermano. And that you mature y que tú madures al perfecto hombre. That you mature to the perfect man, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, que es el Señor Jesucristo. He set us an example. Él nos dio un ejemplo para seguir. He said, this is how you should do things. Así deberíamos de hacer las cosas. Amen. And God has set a very specific rubric. Dios ha dado un sistema muy específico de cómo debemos de actuar, how we should act. 
And tonight, I want to ask you, and we'll go back and just review the slides. I think I've been going through the slides as I press this here. And how do we say that we would change? Como dijimos que cambiaríamos? You go to the next slide. Right? We said that there was something called TLC. Amen? And TLC stood for what? The first one is take responsibility. Amen? <laughs> Tender, loving care too, I guess, Brother Nigel. The second one is love for real. Ama de verdad. And the third one is care for your surroundings. Que te importe lo que está a tu alrededor. Amen. And sometimes we stop caring. A veces se nos olvida importar. We forget that there are people that are depending on us. Nos olvidamos que hay personas que están contando con nosotros. Pero tonight I want us to take a mindset of growth. Quiero que tomemos una mentalidad de crecimiento. And that's going to take something from you. Y eso va a tomar algo de ti. Va a tomar que tú digas, ¿sabes qué? Ya no quiero ser como... So I, why? Because there's people that depend on me. Porque hay personas que dependen de mí. Dependen de mi actitud. They depend on my attitude. They depend on how I am as a person. Dependen de como yo soy como una persona. Amen. And I'm going to ask Brother Justin to help us out with the slides for tonight because I think he's a very special person. The next slide, when should we change? ¿Cuándo deberíamos cambiar? When? Now. Now. Today is the day of salvation. Hoy es el día de la salvación. Today is when you should change. Hoy es el día que tú deberías cambiar. And you say, you know what? I don't think I need a change. Yo no necesito cambiar. Well, maybe because you think that, it should give you a hint. Te debería de dar una razón que sí deberías de cambiar. A lot of us don't change because we don't know we need to change. Muchos de nosotros no cambiamos porque no sabemos que necesitamos cambiar. We're oblivious to who we are. Estamos perdidos a quienes somos. But take a minute and examine yourself. Toma un minuto, examínate. Y di, Señor, hay cosas que yo necesito cambiar. Is there things that I need to change? Because in this life, as we keep going, there's maturity and there's stages of growth. Hay madurez y hay estados de crecimiento. Do you believe that? ¿Tú lo crees en esta noche? Amen. And we talked about those last week. You can go to the next slide. You're going to have to click two times. The stages of growth. The first stage, el primer estado, es de un infante. It's of a baby. Amen. And we talk, we've been talking about being a baby for the last three weeks. Hemos hablado de ser un bebé. Un bebé no toma sus propias decisiones. A baby doesn't take their own decisions. The second step of growth is the youth stage. Es en la juventud. It's a time of growth. Es un tiempo de crecimiento. Es un tiempo donde uno está tomando decisiones que van a um, caracterizar lo próximo de su vida. You start making decisions that start to make you who you are for the rest of your life. And if you're not careful in this stage, si no tienes cuidado en ese estado, you start developing habits in your life. Empiezas a crear hábitos en tu vida that you suffer for the rest of your life. Amen. Que sufres por el resto de tu vida. And lastly, the adult stage, el estado de adulto, es cuando hemos entrado a la madurez. It's when we've entered into maturity. Amen? And a lot of us think that we're mature because we've been here a long time. Y muchos pensamos que somos maduros porque hemos estado mucho tiempo en la iglesia. O porque sabemos muchas escrituras. Or because we know a lot of Bible verses. But maturity is not that. La madurez no es eso. It ain't capsules that and tiene eso dentro de él yes you should know the word si deberías leer la biblia si deberías estar en iglesia but maturity doesn't is not determined by the time that you're here la madurez no es determinada por el tiempo que tú estás aquí amen you can be in church 20 years and still be a baby puedes estar en iglesia 20 años y aún ser un bebé how do you know you're a baby como sabes que tú eres un bebé well let's talk about babies amen the letter B for the word baby. Amen. The first thing about a baby is that a baby needs milk. You need somebody to keep telling you what you need to do. Siempre necesitas alguien que te diga qué tengo que hacer. 
Hey, how do I, how do I do this? ¿Cómo hago esto? ¿Cómo hago lo? And there's nothing wrong with that. Y no hay nada mal con eso. It's better that you ask. Es mejor que tú preguntes que estés perdido el resto de tu vida. Because eventually, after asking for so long, you'll realize how to do something. Te vas a dar cuenta de cómo hacer algo, and you'll grow y crecerás. A baby still needs milk. Un bebé necesita leche. What does that mean? That you still need somebody to always be encouraging you. Que alguien siempre te esté animando para seguir en este camino. Because if somebody doesn't encourage you, then you feel bad and you feel weak and you don't want to go to church no more. Y ya no quieres ir a la iglesia, ya no quieres hacer nada. ¿Por qué? Porque me siento ofendido, because I feel offended, because I feel, you know what, nobody loves me, nadie me ama. But a baby requires that. A baby requires attention. Un bebé requiere la atención. And there's nothing wrong with that. Why? Because it's a baby. Y no hay nada malo con eso, hermano. ¿Por qué, hermano? Porque es un bebé. You're not going to get mad at a child for asking you for food. No te vas a enojar con el bebé porque te pide leche. Amen? And we must learn how to be patient with those that are still in this stage of growth. Y tenemos que ser paciente, hermano, con los que aún están en este estado de crecimiento. And if you're still in this stage, si aún te encuentras en este estado, then we need to see what we can do to help you grow. Tenemos que ver qué podemos hacer para ayudarte. The second thing about babies is that they depend on others. Dependen de otros. Amen. And that's not a bad thing. Y eso no es una mala cosa, hermano. As long as you grow, mientras que tú crezcas, hermano, y aprendas, okay, I'm depending on you for this, but how do I do that? ¿Cómo es que yo empiezo a hacer eso también? How do I grow to do what you're doing? ¿Cómo yo crezco para hacer lo que tú estás haciendo? That's growth. There's nothing wrong with depending on others. We've all depended on somebody. Yeah. Todos hemos dependido de alguien, hermano. And those that are not willing to depend on others, y los que no están dispuestos a depender a otro, will not grow. No crecerán, hermano. No matter how hard you try, in this walk, you can't do it by yourself. Amen. No importa qué tanto trates, hermano, en este caminar, no se puede hacer solo. How do we know that? ¿Cómo lo sabemos? Don't come to church for a month. No vengas a la iglesia por un mes. Don't talk to no brothers, don't talk to no sisters, no, don't talk to the pastor. No hables con el pastor, no hables con los hermanos, con las hermanas. And see how you are at the end of that month. Y mira cómo te sientes al final de ese mes. It's when like you miss church like that one time and you're like, and you feel kind of like left out, te sientes fuera. Te sientes que, man, we really miss church today. I should be there. Yo debería estar allí. Right, you watch it on the Periscope, but it's not the same. Y lo miras en el Facebook, pero no es igual. Lo miras en el YouTube y dices, no, this is not the same. Why? Because you need to fellowship with your brothers. You need to fellowship with your sisters. Why? Because we depend on each other. Why? Because we're a body. Dependemos el uno el otro, hermano. ¿Por qué, hermano? Porque somos un cuerpo, hermano. We're a body, and until you get that, y hasta que tú entiendas eso, hermano, no vas a crecer. You're not going to grow. Because a limb that doesn't understand that they're part of a body will become useless. Porque, hermano, una un parte del cuerpo que no entienda que es parte del cuerpo se convierte en algo que no se puede usar. Amen. Amen. And we don't want to become useless. Y no queremos ser personas que no se puedan usar. The last thing about babies is that they're always in the flesh. Lo último de los bebés es que siempre están en la carne. Again, if you're a baby, si eres un bebé, this is going to happen. The enemy always goes after the newborns. El enemigo siempre va detrás de los recién nacidos. You say, well, what do you mean always? Well, look in the Bible. When Moses was born, what happened? The enemy decided to send an order to kill all the children. El enemigo mandó a matar a todos los niños. How did the enemy know that that's who he had to kill? Because he knew, hey, he's weak right now. Él está débil ahora. He can't deliver Israel like this. Él no puede liberar a Israel así, but if I let him grow up, si yo dejo que él crezca, then he'll do something great. When the Lord was born, cuando el Señor nació, the king out of fear for what the, what, what the prophets had told him, he said, let's go kill all the babies two and under. Why? Because he had determined the age of when the star had shown up to now. And he said, let's kill the baby. 
Why? Because we don't want this king to rise up and overthrow us. No queremos que este rey crezca y nos, nos venza a todos. The enemy will always come at you when you're in a baby stage. El enemigo siempre va a venir a tu vida cuando estamos en un estado de bebé. And that's why it's so important that we grow up. Y por eso es tan importante, hermano, que crezcamos. Que digamos, Señor, yo no me quiero quedar un bebé. I don't want to stay. A, anybody want to stay here a baby? No. Amen. I'm talking about spiritually, espiritualmente hablando. Do you want to stay a baby? No. Nadie no queremos quedar bebé. But a lot of times we do stay babies. Nos quedamos bebés, hermano, porque aún estamos dependiendo de la leche. Aún estamos dependiendo de alguien más para que nos anime. We're still depending on the milk. We're still depending on others to encourage us. We're still walking in the flesh. He, the, the apostle tells him, hey, I couldn't tell you spiritual things. No te le puedo decir cosas espirituales porque aún andaban en su carne because you were still walking in your flesh. You were still an infant in Christ. Aún eras un infante en, el, en Cristo. But God wants us to grow. Pero hermano, Dios quiere que crezcamos. God wants me to grow. Dios quiere que yo crezca. And as we've been going through this series, you know, this is like the 42 week of this, la 42 semana de esta serie. But as we've been going through it, you, you, if you apply this to your life, si empiezas a aplicar esto en tu vida, hermano, every little thing that's said, cada cosita que se dice, hermano, and you start examining yourself, hey, am I still acting like a baby? Aún actúo como un bebé. Y empieza no solamente a pensar, but you start to change your life. Empiezas a cambiar tu vida. And you say, you know what? I'm going to change my attitude. Voy a cambiar mi actitud. Voy a cambiar mis decisiones. I'm going to change my decisions. I'm going to change my attitude. You start growing up. Empiezas a crecer. And growth happens exponentially. Y el crecimiento, hermano, sucede grande. ¿Por qué? Porque tú eres el que da el crecimiento. You're not the one that gives the growth. God gives the growth. And if you let God's word work in your life, si dejas que la palabra de Dios trabaje en tu vida, hermano, vas a crecer. You are going to grow. Amen. The next stage after a baby is the youth stage. Es el estado de joven. And a lot of us are in this stage. Y muchos de nosotros estamos en ese estado. And this stage is the stage of growing. Este es un, un, un um, estado de crecimiento. Un estado de, de, de crecer, de, de, de desarrollarse. A, a, a time to um, grow and to develop yourself. And let's look at the best example. And miremos al mejor ejemplo. En Lucas capítulo 2. Who's the best example? The Lord Jesus. What I love about the word is that they, he gives us different stages of his life. He gives us the baby stage. No es al estado de bebé. Right? He also gives us this youth stage, a peek into this, this life. Este, una, una mirada a la vida de este gran... Dios y Salvador Jesucristo, of this great God and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says in verse 42, el versículo 42 dice, <coughs> And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to custom. And when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. And here's something key. And his parents did not. No. El versículo 42 dice, Y cuando tuvo 12 años, subieron a Jerusalén conforme a la costumbre de la fiesta. Al regresar ellos, acabada la fiesta, se quedó el niño Jesús en Jerusalén sin que lo supiesen José y su madre. Verse next verse says, But supposing him to be in the group, they went a day's journey. But then they began to search for him among their relatives and acquaintances, and when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem searching for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them, and asking them questions. Al regresar a ellos, se quedó Jesús, y pensando que estaba entre la compañía, anduviera un camino de un día, y le buscaban entre los parientes y los conocidos, Pero como no lo hallaron, volvieron a Jerusalén buscándole. Y aconteció que tres días después, la hallaron en el templo, sentado en medio de los doctores de la ley, oyéndoles y preguntándoles. Y versículo 47. And all who heard him 
were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when his parents saw him, they were astonished. And look what they said. And his mother said to him, son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been searching for you in great distress. Cuando y todo lo que lo oían se maravillaban de su inteligencia y de sus respuestas. Cuando le vieron se sorprendieron y le dijo su madre, hijo, ¿por qué nos has hecho así? He aquí tu padre y yo te hemos buscado con angustia. Was the Lord Jesus Christ doing a good thing? Was he in a good place? El Señor Jesucristo estaba haciendo algo bueno. Estaba en un lugar bueno. Of course, he was in the temple. Él estaba en el templo. He was in his father. Estaba en, let's read that verse. Oh, actually, we won't read that verse. We'll just go to the next slide. It says, what did the parents ask? Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been searching for you in great distress. Sometimes when we're in this youthful stage, cuando estamos en esta edad de jóvenes, hacemos cosas que no le agrada a nuestro padre. We do things that, are, that don't please our father. And a lot of the times what we don't realize is that we need guidance in our life. Yes. Necesitamos, hermano, guianza en nuestras vidas. We need somebody to guide us. Necesitamos que alguien nos guíe. And a lot of times we don't understand, no entendemos, que Dios ha puesto personas en nuestra vida que nos están cuidando. Go to the next slide. ¿Por qué, hermano? Because you, because I need guidance. Necesitamos, hermano, guianza de un padre. Necesitamos guianza de una madre. And that's why the Lord has set up the church how he set it up. Y por eso Dios ha puesto la iglesia como está puesta. ¿Para qué, hermano? Para que los varones enseñen a los muchachos y las mujeres enseñen a las muchachas. Las mujeres deben enseñar a las Menores, ¿cómo? ¿A qué? A amar a sus esposos. To love their husbands. And men should be teaching other men how to love their wives. And a lot of the times, we don't realize that we don't know it all. No lo sabemos todo, hermano. Y Dios nos está instruyendo. And God is instructing us in a certain way, in a certain manner. Y Dios nos está enseñando en una manera muy diferente a lo que nosotros pensamos. You see, you might think, well, I'm doing a good thing. Estoy haciendo algo bueno. Look what the Lord responds. Mira lo que dice el Señor. And he said to them, why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And the Bible says, and they did not understand the saying that he spoke to them. And look what the Bible says. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth. And what did he do? And was submissive to them. And his mother treasured up all these things in her heart. You see, the Lord, even though he was God, el Señor, aunque era Dios, él dice que no tomó eso como que gloriarse. He didn't take that for something to boast in himself. But he said, you know what? I'm in my father's house, but you're telling me that I should have been with you. You're telling me that you're distressed because of what I've done. And he could do something. He could Humble himself. Él se podía humillar. And the Bible says that he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was what? Submissive. Was submissive. You can click it. He was submissive to them. Imagine that. God Almighty. Dios Todopoderoso. The Lord of Lords. The King of Kings. Submits himself to two parents. Se somete a dos Padres, if the Lord could do it, si el Señor lo podía hacer, hermano, why is it so hard for us to submit ourselves? ¿Por qué es tan difícil a veces someternos nosotros? And a lot of the times, what we don't realize is that if we don't submit ourselves, then we're stopping our growth. Si no nos sometemos, hermano, estamos parando nuestro crecimiento. The Bible says that he became submissive to them. And look what the next verse says. Mira lo que dice el próximo versículo. And Jesus increased in wisdom 
and in stature and in favor with God and man. Why? Because submission produces growth. ¿Por qué, hermano? Porque la sumisión produce el crecimiento. The Bible says that Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor. Go, you can go to the next one. That was it. I follow you. What did he increase in? The first thing he increased in was wisdom. Lo, lo primero que él creció era el, la sabiduría. The second thing that he grew in was stature, la estatura. And the third thing that he grew in was favor. Él creció en sabiduría, estatura, y en favor. Now, when we look at those three words, cuando miramos esas tres palabras, the first word we see there is the word wisdom. La primera palabra que vemos ahí es la palabra sabiduría. Three times. There you go. And wisdom means the soundness of an action or decision with regard to the application of experience, knowledge, and good judgment. ¿Qué es la sabiduría, hermano? Es poder hacer una, una acción o una decisión aplicando la experiencia, el conocimiento y el buen juicio. How many times do we actually use wisdom in our life? ¿Cuántas veces de verdad, hermano, usamos la sabiduría en nuestras vidas, hermano? A lot of times we think we're being wise. Pensamos que estamos siendo um, sabios. Pero la verdad es, hermano, que si no aplicamos la experiencia, if we don't apply the experience, if we don't apply what God is, has been teaching us, then we can rest assured that our decisions will never be as good as they can be. Podemos darnos cuenta, hermano, que nuestras decisiones no van a ser, hermano, tan buenas como pueden ser. But when you say, you know what, Lord, give me wisdom. Señor, dame sabiduría. Señor, ayúdame a tomar acciones, a hacer decisiones aplicando la experiencia, applying experience, applying knowledge, applying Good judgment. Aplicando buen juicio. Aplicando la sabiduría, el conocimiento y la experiencia. The Lord Jesus Christ, when he submitted himself, cuando él se sometió, hermano, él empezó a crecer en sabiduría. You know why? Because when you let yourself be taught, cuando tú te dejas que seas enseñado, hermano, older people can teach us things. Los más ancianos nos pueden enseñar cosas, hermano. And they'll tell you, I've been through there. Yo he pasado por allí. Don't do that. I've been through that situation with my wife. Don't do that. He pasado por esa experiencia con mi esposa. No hagas eso. O haz esto. O do this. Do that. Why? Because wisdom will make us take better decisions in our life. Yep. La sabiduría nos va a ayudar a hacer mejores decisiones en nuestra vida. The second thing he grew in was stature. Lo segundo que creció en su vida fue en estatura. And you can click it. Stature means importance or reputation. Gained by ability or achievement. En la estatura significa importancia o reputación ganada por habilidad o um, éxito. And it's very important that when you submit yourself, you let God exalt you. Tú dejas que Dios, hermano, te exalte. You see, the Lord was a carpenter. El Señor era un carpintero. And, I'm, uh, and I, I'm, his father taught him how to be a carpenter. Su papá le enseñó cómo ser un carpintero. And you think he was any good? I, I would suppose he was very good. Me imagino que él era muy buen carpintero. Me imagino que él sabía cómo trabajar con la madera. He knew how to work with the wood. Él sabía, hey, I, I, this I can do. Why? Because my father taught me. I submitted to my father, and I can make you a table. I can make you a chair. Yo te puedo hacer una mesa. Yo te puedo hacer una silla. ¿Qué necesitas? He had to, he had to grow. Él tenía que crecer en ese trabajo. See, when they were referred to him, they would be like, isn't this the carpenter? ¿Acaso no es este el carpintero? How did they know he was a carpenter? ¿Cómo sabía que era carpintero? Because he has stature in that. Él tenía estatura en eso. Él había crecido su reputación. Yes, that is the carpenter. Sí, él es el carpintero. In the same way, we must grow in our life. 
You see, our decisions that we make not only affect you spiritually. Las, las decisiones que tú haces no solamente te afectan espiritualmente. The decisions you have to make are not just here. They're at your job, son, en tu trabajo. It's with everybody that surrounds you. Es con la persona que te rodean con tu familia, with your family. Why? Because everybody is looking at you. Porque todos te están viendo, especialmente cuando dice que eres cristiano, especially when you say you're a Christian. Your reputation will follow you. Tu reputación te va a seguir, hermano. You might say, well, I don't care about that. A mí no me importa eso. No me importa que ser importante. I don't care about reputation. Yes, but if you get, a, if you become important for being bad, si te conviertes importante porque eres malo o porque tienes una mala reputación, hermano, people will know you. How do you know a tree? ¿Cómo conoces un árbol? Por sus frutos. By its reputation, by what it's done. Por lo que ha hecho el árbol. The same way we're known by our fruit. The third thing, the third thing, the third thing, la tercera cosa, is that he grew in favor. Él creció en favor. And what is favor? Approval, support, or liking for someone or something. Él creció en la aprobación, el soporte, el querer de algo o, alguna, o, o de alguien. He had favor with those that were around him. Él tenía favor con los que estaban alrededor de él. He, he, he made himself like us. Él se hizo como nosotros. Who to know us better than the one who created? Yes. ¿Quién conocernos mejor que el que nos creó? So we have to, in the same way, grow in wisdom, stature, and favor. Tenemos que igual, hermano, crecer en conocimiento, en sabiduría, en estatura y en favor. You gotta be friendly to have friends. Yes. Tienes que ser amigable, hermano, para tener amigos. You can't go around the world. No puedes pasar por todo el mundo con una cara de limón, with a lemon face, and expect people to like you. Just because you're a Christian, porque eres cristiano. No. no. We have to do, we have to be the light. Tenemos que ser la luz. Yes. Because they look at you and they say, man, that guy's always serious. Siempre está serio. He, you know, he's, he's weird. Él es raro. You think they're ever going to come to Christ like that? ¿Tú crees que van a venir así, hermano? That's why we're so against the, everything that is, is so religious and so superficial. Why? Because religi religiosity is not going to bring anyone to Christ. Ser religioso no va a traer a nadie a Jesucristo. But when we start gaining favor, hey, you know what? Yes, I'll work that extra hour for you. Yo trabajo esa hora para ti. No te preocupes. Yo te ayudo. I'll help you. I'll help you move. I'll help you do this. I'll help you do that. And you start gaining favor with people. You say, man, people are like, okay, I see you. Now, you're, uh, a lot of us are probably thinking, well, the only favor, the only stature, and the only wisdom that I need is from God. La única favor y el único estatura y la única sabiduría que necesito es de Dios. That's all I, Lord, if you accept me, then I'm good. But the Bible says that Jesus grew in favor with God, and the Bible says, and man. El tuvo, hermano, favor, estatura y sabiduría, no solamente con Dios, pero también con el hombre. You see, you can't be just one thing. No puede ser una sola cosa, hermano. You can't be all high and mighty and think you're self-righteous. Pensate que tú eres el, el más santo de todo el mundo. And not interact with your fellow men. Y no interactuar con el hombre, hermano, que te rodea. Because when we do that, cuando hacemos esto, we bring no one here. No traemos a nadie aquí, hermano. That's why he were like, what? Well, I don't really want nothing to do with Christians. Yo no quiero nada que ver con los cristianos porque los cristianos, they're weird, son raros. But why? Because of the way that we decide to have our attitude. La manera que tenemos nuestra actitud, hermano. People, you're a human being. Tú eres una persona. You have feelings. You think about things. Piensas cosas. You think, I don't like that. No me gusta eso. Oh, I don't like how he talked to me. No me gusta cómo habla, right? Do you think that just because you're a Christian, you're the only one that thinks that? De una vez que porque solo eres cristiano, tú eres el único que piensa así. Oh, I have discernment. Tengo discernment. And I can feel he was talking to me weird. No. Go to somewhere. Have a bad attitude. People will be like, I don't like how he talked to me. No me gusta como, me, como ella me habló. And then not on top of that is, he es cristiano. And he's a Christian. 
you're a Christian, eres un cristiano, and you talk like that, and you act like that, and you have the attitude, hey, you know what, stay away from me. Mantente alejado de mí. You know, I'm good how I am. Let me talk to you about the Lord Jesus Christ. No, 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 it's okay. Está bien. Why? Because our attitudes and the way that we behave has not gotten us wisdom. We haven't become wise in treating those that are outside. No nos hemos convertido sabios en cómo tratar a los que están afuera. We haven't grown in any kind of reputation or importance because we're, we think that we're beside them. Estamos fuera de ellos. But God humbled himself. Dios se humilló, hermano. Amen. He made himself like you and me. Él se hizo como tú y como yo. And he grew and increased in favor, not only with God, no solamente con Dios, but with man. Pero con el hombre, hermano. And we need to learn how to have a balance in our life. Tenemos que aprender cómo tener un balance en nuestras vidas. It's time for us to grow. Es tiempo, hermano, que nosotros crezcamos. And the only way we're going to grow is if we're submissive, you know, sometemos, and we say, Lord, I want to increase in wisdom. I want to increase in stature. I want to increase in favor. Señor, quiero crecer en sabiduría. Quiero crecer en estatura. Quiero crecer en favor. Does anybody want to grow? Amen. So what is the advantage of this stage? ¿Cuál es la ventaja de este estado? The Bible says the glory of young men is their strength But the splendor of old men is their gray hair. What's the key word here? ¿Qué es la clave para los jóvenes? Their strength. Su fuerza, hermano. Cuando tú estás joven, when you're young in the Lord, you want to do everything for God. ¿Quieres hacer todo para Dios? Is that not true? ¿No es verdad, hermano? You, I, I, I want to open up the bottle for the brother. You quiero abrir la bodega al hermano. I want to pick up the trash. Quiero levantar la basura. Quiero hacer todo eso. A baby can't do that. Un bebé no puede hacer eso. They can't commit to a routine of that. No se pueden comprometer a una rutina de eso. They can't say, I'm going to be there one hour early. Why say, you're not what are they? They can't commit. You can't commit to that. Why? Because you're still in that stage. But when you're in your youth, cuando estás en tu juventud, you're like, man, service is over. Ya se acabó el servicio. Why? All y'all faces is like, nah, bro. <laughs> nah, man, I don't think like that. <laughs> But when you're young, cuando estás joven, hermano, Your glory is that you're strong. Tu gloria, hermano, es que estás fuerte, that you have strength, que tienes fuerza en tu vida. And what does it mean to have strength? ¿Qué significa tener fuerza en tu vida? Anybody? Alguien? What does it mean to have strength, Brother Jesus? Power of the Holy Ghost. El poder del Espíritu Santo. Thank you, Brother Jesus. La fuerza del Señor. You see, when you're in this stage, cuando estás en ese estado, you're always constantly praying. Estás orando siempre. Siempre estás buscando la presencia de Dios. ¿Por qué? Porque estás en ese tiempo que lo puedes hacer. You're in that time that you can do it. That you can say, I'm strong in the Lord. Estoy fuerte en el Señor. Amen. Amen. Is anybody here strong in the Lord? Habrá alguien que esté fuerte en el Señor. So we use our strength to our advantage. Usamos nuestra fuerza para nuestra ventaja. If we go to 1 Timothy, si vamos a 1 Timoteo, capítulo 4, chapter 4. How's everybody doing tonight? ¿Cómo están todos? Fine and dandy. Fine and dandy. Doing fine and dandy too, brother. First Timothy chapter 4. Primera de Timoteo, capítulo 4. Versículo 12. It says, or oh, versículo 11. Esto manda y enseña. Command and teach these things. Let no one despise you for your youth. Dice, que nadie tome. En poco tu juventud. But what does the Bible say? ¿Qué dice la Biblia? It says, but set what? The believers. the believers an example. You see, when you're in this stage, cuando tú estás en este estado, you have the strength to set an example. Tú tienes la fuerza, hermano, para poner el ejemplo. Follow me with this one. In what? 
You have to set the example. Tienes que enseñar el mensaje, el ejemplo. Now here. In what? In speech? Yeah. In palabra? You have to set the example in conduct and conducta. You have to set the example in love. You're going to rush through it. In faith, in purity, y en pureza. Tenemos que dar el ejemplo, hermano, en estas cosas. En cómo hablamos, en how we talk. Are your words negative? Tus palabras son negativas. Are your words words of faith or are they, or are they words of discouragement? I can't do this. I'm sad. I feel tired. Estoy cansado. Estoy triste. No se puede. No tengo fe. What are your words? ¿Qué son tus palabras? What example are you setting with your words? ¿Qué ejemplo estás poniendo con tus palabras? ¿Qué ejemplo estás poniendo con tu conducta? What is the example that you're putting with your conduct? Is your conduct a conduct that somebody wants to say, hey, I want to I wanna be like that. Yo quiero ser como él. I want to act like that. Yo quiero actuar como así. You know, when he's stressed out, he acts a, a certain way. Cuando está estresado, él actúa de una manera. He's patient, es paciente, es gentil, he's kind, he's gentle. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't explode, no se explota. He has a good conduct when he's in a bad place. Él tiene buena conducta cuando está en un mal estado. It's easy to have good conduct when everything's going good. Es bueno tener buena conducta cuando todo está bien. Everything's good, and my children are good, my wife is good, my family is good, mi familia está bien, mis hijos están bien, my business is good. But what happens when you're in a bad place? When not everything is good, cuando no todo está bien, how does your conduct reflect your faith? ¿Cómo es que tu conducta refleja tu fe? Does it show that you're trusting in God? ¿Muestra que estás confiando en Dios? Or does it show the opposite? ¿O muestra lo opuesto? That you've lost all faith. Que has perdido toda la esperanza. Que has perdido toda la fe en lo que puede hacer Jesús. Your conduct will show it. See, a lot of us have a lot of nice speech. Muchos tenemos buenas palabras. But when it comes to our conduct, cuando viene a nuestra conducta and how we behave when things get rough, cuando nos comportamos, cuando las cosas se ponen fuerte, hermano, eso muestra quién eres. That shows who you are. We have to set an example in love. Tenemos que mostrar un ejemplo en el amor. And I'm glad to be a part of this church. Y me encanta ser parte de esta iglesia because there's love in this place. Porque hay amor en este lugar. But that's the example that we have to set. Este es el ejemplo que tenemos que enseñar, no solamente aquí, sino cuando visitamos otros lugares. But when we visit other places, when we're with other brothers and other sisters, we have to show them the love of God. Tenemos que mostrar el amor de Dios because not everyone has the love of God. Porque no todos tienen el amor de Dios en sus vidas. But when you're strong in the Lord, when you're in your youth in the Lord, you say, you know what? I'm filled with the love. Estoy lleno con el amor de Jesucristo. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. Let me pray for you. Let me hug you. You need a hug. Dios un abrazo. Let me hug you. Feel the love of the Lord. Siente el amor del Señor. We have to set an example in faith. Amen. Tenemos que poner un ejemplo, hermano, en la fe. You see, you have to have faith that what? That moves mountains. Tenemos que tener una fe, hermano, que mueve montañas. Hermano, tenemos te que tener fe, period. Tenemos que, te we have to have faith en general. The Bible says that if we don't have faith, then it's impossible to please God. La palabra dice que sin fe, hermano, es imposible hacer qué? Agradar a Dios. So when you're going through a trial, cuando estás pasando por una prueba, you got to have Faith, faith, faith. Tienes que tener fe. Cuando estás pasando por una prueba, cuando estás pasando por una situación difícil, tienes que tener fe. You have to have faith. But not only do you have to have faith, you have to set an example in faith. No solamente tienes que tener fe, hermano. Tienes que dar un ejemplo en lo que significa esto es tener fe. This is what it means to have faith. And I think a lot of the time, y muchas veces, es ahí donde cometemos el error de no confiar en Dios. It's in those places that we don't, we commit the mistake of not trusting God and not having faith and setting a bad example for everyone else. Because if you can't trust God, si tú no puedes confiar en Dios, and you've been in this for the longest time, y tú has estado en esto por mucho tiempo, what do you expect me that just got here to do? Yeah. To follow your example, seguir tu ejemplo? 
And sometimes we're put in embarrassment by people that, that are babies and they have a lot of faith. Que en esos bebés tienen mucha faith. You're like, how do you have that much faith? Pero por qué, hermano? Because we have to take it upon ourselves and say, you know what, Lord? Give me faith. ¿Qué le dijo a los discípulos? Aumenta nuestra fe. Increase my faith. Lord, look, I, I felt this sign. Señor, te fallé esta vez. No confío, but Lord, increase my faith. Señor, aumenta mi fe, Señor. Para que yo no solamente tenga fe, not so that I just can have faith, but so I can set an example of faith. If we read Hebrews, if we read Hebreos, nos da, we don't have to go there, but it gives us the hall of faith. Nos da la, la sala de la fe, hermano. Y nos muestra hombres como Abraham, como Moisés, men like Abraham, men like Moses that did what? That set a what? An example of faith. And we have to strive to be that example. Y nosotros tenemos que seguir y ser ese ejemplo. Are you going to have times that you have doubt? ¿Vas a tener momentos que tienes duda? Claro que sí, hermano. Hey, hey, no te engañes. Don't, don't fool yourself that you're never going to have. But overall, you have to say, Lord, I want to be an example. Lord, I want to set a good example for my brother. Quiero dar un buen ejemplo para mi hermano, para mi hermana. ¿Por qué, por qué Señor? Porque eso es lo que tú has mandado. He says, command and teach these things. Manda y enseña estas cosas. Que seamos ejemplo en estas cosas. That we be an example in these things. When people want to know what does a Christian sound like. Cuando las personas quieren saber cómo se escucha un cristiano. Hey, brother Justin, come here. Talk to this man about Jesus. Háblale a este hombre de Jesús. Cuando una persona quiere ver cómo se conduce un cristiano. Look at brother George. Mira al hermano Jorge. Cómo se, look how he behaves. Look how passive he is. How soft he is. How gentle he is. How he's trusted the Lord. In his conduct. When people want to see an example of love, look at our pastor. Mira nuestro pastor. The biggest teddy bear on this earth. El, el, el osito más grande de este planeta. That's love. Eso es el amor. You want to see faith? Quieres ver fe? Hey, look at brother Jesus. Mira el hermano Jesus. A person that walks by faith. That puts everything in the hands of God. Que pone las cosas en la mano de Dios. I see this guy. He's always like, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. And I'm like... Man, brother, how you doing? Now? ¿Cómo lo haces todo? Why? Because he always says, I'm trusting in the Lord. Estoy confiando en el Señor. I'm trusting God for my children. Estoy confiando por mis hijos. Estoy confiando por mi familia. I remember Jesus when I met him. Me acuerdo de Jesus cuando lo conocí. And I'm like, now I'm like, man, where'd he go? But it's because he's grown. Porque él ha crecido, hermano. And, and we can all grow. Y todos podemos crecer, hermano. We can all mature. Todos podemos madurar al hombre perfecto. To the perfect man. Our example, the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, we have to be examples in purity. Tenemos que ser ejemplos en pureza. <laughs> Brother Felix, show us purity. Hermano Felix, enséñanos la pureza. Show us what a pure-minded person sounds like. And I love Felix because he comes up with the wildest thing. Y me encanta Felix porque piensa las cosas más, más locas. And you think about it like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Eso hace mucho sentido. ¿Por qué, hermano? Porque viene de un lugar de pureza. Because it comes from a place of purity. It comes from a place that he has his relationship with God. Que él tiene su relación con Dios. Y dice, ¿sabes qué? Yo me quiero, yo quiero servir al Señor. Hey, I'm serving. I don't care if nobody sees me when I'm here. A mí no me importa que nadie me vea cuando yo estoy aquí. I want to serve God from the pureness of my heart. Yo quiero servir a Dios de la pureza de mi corazón. And when you do things out of purity, no one has to ask you to do anything. Cuando, hermano, tú haces las cosas de la pureza, no necesita nadie pedirte que lo hagas. Tú dices, Señor, yo te quiero servir. Lord, I want to serve you. Lord, I don't need nobody to say my name. No necesito que nadie diga mi nombre. I don't need to be recognized. Lord, I just want to serve you from a place of purity. Señor, te quiero servir de un lugar de pureza. Set the example. Pon el ejemplo. He tells them, until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture. Dice, hasta que yo regrese. Entre tanto que yo voy, ocúpate en la lectura, la exhortación y la enseñanza. And I thank the Lord for all the teachers. Me, le doy gracias a Dios por todos los maestros, por todos los predicadores que tenemos en esta iglesia that are always preaching on Wednesday. Brother Nigel with his Bible minutes. I mean, Brother Nigel, I'm like, oh, 
And not only does he, does he give Bible minutes, the Bible minutes come. Amen. I'm like, oh, not only does he send them out, he also receives them. No solamente lo manda, él también lo recibe. Has anybody ever been blessed by a Bible minute? Amen. ¿Alguien ha sido bendecido por un Bible minute del hermano Nigel? O oh, del hermano George? Amen. George is all quiet all the time. Jorge siempre está quiet. I play, I put, put the Bible, it's time. I'm like, hey, well, he can talk. Puede hablar. O oh, brother, Ni brother Nigel always has the same excitement. Siempre tiene la misma, el mismo emocionante. It's time for Bible. I'm like, oh, man, it's early, bro. <laughs> I'm waking up. <laughs> but these are men. Esos son hombres. And thank the Lord for all the men of this church. Y gracias a Dios por todos los hombres de esta iglesia. And even the new ones impressed me. Uno los, los, los nuevos me impresionan with the little knowledge. And I'm like, whoa, brother Fabian, where are you coming from? Bueno, Fabián de Salice, Brother Tom, ooh, Brother Thomas, brother, brother, Brother Juan. And let's not even leave out our deacon. You know, they have nuestro diácono. He's like the top three, I heard. El, el, el top three. Number one de los top three. Why? Because these are men that have devoted their life to set an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity, and devotion to the word of God. Son hombres que han dedicado su vida en la conducta, en el hablar, en el amor, en la fe, en la pureza, y en la devoción a la palabra de Dios. Amen. And not only that, our musicians, nuestros músicos, brother Frankie back there. Amen. Amen. Frankie, callado, pero ya se pone en el piano. You're like, whoa, where Frankie come from? Our children, esos jóvenes that I'm super proud of, and you know I'm proud of you. Simon, Simon. Well, no, well, Simon has been here since the beginning. Simon, Simon's the old OG. And hermano, Simon ha estado aquí desde siempre. Amen. And we thank the Lord. Amen. Why? Because God wants you to use your gifts. Dios quiere que tú uses, hermano, los dones que ha puesto en ti. The Bible says, do not neglect <laughs> the gift you have, which was given to you, by prophecy, when the council of elders lay their hands on you, practice these things, immerse yourselves in them, so that all may see your progress. Keep a close watch on yourself and on the teaching. And what's the key word here? Or what's some of the key words? The first one is, do not neglect the gift that you have. No descuides el don que hay en ti, hermano. If God has called you for something, si Dios te ha llamado para algo, hermano, no lo descuides, don't neglect it. If God has called you to teach, si Dios te ha llamado para enseñar, si Dios te ha llamado para amar, just to love, to be pure, to be an example. If that's what God has called you for, don't neglect the gift that you have. No descuides el don que hay en ti, hermano. The second key word is immerse yourself. Dice, hermano, te tienes que aprovechar. Tenemos que aprovechar lo que Dios ha puesto en esta vida. We have to immerse ourselves so deep in this, that this is who you are. Tienes que emergirte en esto, hermano, tan profundo que eso es quien tú eres. That this becomes your identity. That you say, I am what the word says I am. Yo soy lo que la palabra dice que yo soy. Not what the enemy says. No lo que dice el enemigo. No lo que dice mis padres. <coughs> Not what my parents say. Not what the enemy says. I am what God says that I am. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. ¿Tú lo crees en esta noche? Yes. Amen. And the Bible says, for what? What is the point of all this? So that all may see your progress. You see, when you're an example, cuando tú eres un ejemplo, people are going to say, hey, man, that guy is growing. Ese muchacho está creciendo. Man, they came in like this, but now they changed so much. Han cambiado tanto that they're not the same person they were. Ya no son la misma persona que antes era, but rather they've grown. And I can see the progress. Puedo ver el progreso en su vida. Can people see the, the progress in your life? La gente puede ver el progreso en tu vida. <coughs> I didn't know it was going to be so loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to cover it. Can people see the progress in your life? La persona pueden ver el progreso en tu vida. Keep a close watch on yourself 
and on the teachings. Mantén tu vista en ti mismo y en la enseñanza, en la doctrina. You see, you can have all these beautiful things, but if you don't have the right doctrine, if you're not watching yourself, then it's all for nothing. Entonces todo es para nada. Yeah. The Bible says, persist in this, for by doing so, you will say both yourself and your hearers. What is the key word here? Persist. ¿Qué es la, la palabra clave? Persiste en esto. Persist in this. Persiste en esto. You see, it's good to do it for a day. It's good to do it for a week. It's good to do it for a month. It's good to do it for a year. Es bueno hacerlo un día, una semana, un mes, un año. But the Bible says, persist in this. You see, when you persist in something, cuando tú persistes en algo, you grow in that something. Tú empiezas a crecer en ese algo. And as you grow, and as we grow, we grow in the grace of God. Crecemos en la gracia de Dios, en el conocimiento de Jesucristo. And what happens is that we end up being saved. Somos salvos. And not only are we saved, but all those that see your example. Pero todo aquel que ve tu ejemplo and says, you know what? I want to talk like that. I want to act like that. I want to live like that. I want to believe like that. I want to be pure like that. You're going to say, puro así. I want to devote myself to the word like that. And it's real. Y es verdadero. Because people, people can tell when it's fake. La persona puede ver cuando es falso tu vida. And people say, I don't want to follow that example. But when you set a good example, people say, you know what? I want to be like that. Yo quiero ser. That's exactly what I want to be like. Así es que yo quiero ser. Como Pastor John. How, like Pastor John. Like Deacon Harvey, like Brother Jesus, like Brother Felix, like Brother Nigel, uh, and Brother George, and everybody else that I know. I want to be like that. I want to be a good example. I want to follow that example. And when people follow your example, cuando la gente sigue tu ejemplo, they're also saved. They're blessed by your example. Son bendecidos, hermano, ¿por qué? Porque tú pusiste un buen ejemplo. Because you put a good example. Amen. Can you clap your hands to the Lord? Yeah. A warning about youth. Una advertencia de la juventud. And when I say youth tonight, everybody always goes directly to like our youth. But I'm talking about spiritual youth. In this time that you're in, that you're growing. And it's the tiempo que estamos, hermano. Madurando y creciendo. I, I, I believe for myself that I'm in this stage still. Que yo aún estoy en este estado de crecimiento. That, 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 that the Lord has so much in store. Que el Señor tiene tanto para enseñar. That he has so much to still teach me. So that I can reach that adulthood. Para que yo pueda llegar, hermano, a ese nivel de adulto. To reach maturity. Paul says, I don't think that I've got it all. Pablo dice, yo no pretendo que yo lo tengo todo hecho. But he says, but I keep striving forward to the mark. Yo sigo hacia la meta, hermano. Paul was like, hey, I don't got it all together. Yo no lo tengo. And we fool ourselves by thinking that we do. Y nos engañamos. Pues, I'm an adult. I'm, yo soy maduro. Okay. Beware. Ten cuidado, hermano. 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 6. The apostle is telling uh, how to choose the elders. And he says, not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Dice la palabra en el versículo 6. No un neofito, no sea que envaneciéndose, caiga en la condenación del diablo. You see, in this stage, in this estado, hermano, de la juventud, it's so easy to be filled with pride. Es tan fácil ser lleno, hermano, y envanecerse uno mismo. Why? Because you got the strength, tiene la fuerza. You have the eyes on you, tiene los ojos puestos en ti. And you're like, man, look at that guy. Mira como habla. Look how he acts. Look how he has faith. Look how he's pure. And it's so easy to say, yeah, yeah. I am doing pretty good, right? I do a good job. Man, I preached the other day, predicated all the day. Everybody was like, great job. 
and you start falling into the trap of the enemy. Y empiezas a caer en la trampa del enemigo. You see, Lucifer, Lucifer cuando estaba en el cielo, he was the angel. Era el ángel, él resplandecía. He, he, he was the, the God shined through him. Dios brillaba por medio de él. Pero un día entró un pensamiento. But one day a thought came into his mind. I'm going to lift myself. Yo me voy a levantar. Yo voy a subir. Yo me voy a sentar en el trono de Dios. I'm going to take the glory for myself. Yo voy a tomarme la gloria para mí. You see, when you start taking the glory that belongs to God, cuando tú empiezas a tomar la gloria que le merece Dios, hermano, uh -uh. God doesn't share his glory with nobody. Dios no comparte con nadie su gloria. And that's why in the stage of being young, en este tiempo de estar joven, hermano, tenemos que tener cuidado que el orgullo no entre a nuestras vidas. We have to be careful that pride doesn't enter into our life. All of us, I've been there too. Yo he estado allí, and there's times in my life, y hay tiempos en mi vida que siento que viene el orgullo, that pride is coming into my life. And the moment that you let pride, el momento que tú dejas que el orgullo entre a tu vida, hermano, that's it. You think you got it. Tú piensas que tú lo tienes. And I, and, and I want to be honest with you, and I want to be transparent with you. Quiero ser honesto contigo, y quiero ser transparente, hermano. Pride has affected me. El orgullo sí me ha afectado, hermano. He said, no way. No. Yes, way. Sí, hay manera, hermano. Why? Because pride will come into anybody, no matter who they are. El orgullo entra a todo, hermano. And I think I got it. Yo pienso que yo la tengo. And I get up here and open your Bibles. And I, and, and I think of myself, how foolish of me to think that it's me. Qué, qué engañoso engañarme yo mismo pensando que soy yo. That does anything. But as fast as I put myself up, Literally five minutes after service. <laughs> Cinco minutos después del servicio. I get reeled back down. And I thank God for my pastor. Le doy gracias a mi pastor. That he calls me out. Que él me dice, Eli, there's something wrong here. Algo está mal aquí. Why are you acting like that? ¿Por qué estás comportándote así? Why are you talking like that? ¿Por qué estás hablando así? And I'm like, oh, because I let pride affect me. Porque dejé que el orgullo me afectara. Because I let myself think that I'm good, que yo soy bueno. That God speaks to me. Que Dios me... The moment that you start thinking that you're indispensable, que tú eres indispensable, hermano, that's when pride comes into your heart. But when you realize, God, I'm just a vessel. So, solamente soy un vaso, Señor. And Lord, if you want to use me, use me. Si me quieres usar, Señor, úsame. Pero si no, Señor, I'm content the same way. I can sit in a seat. Me puedo sentar en una silla, en una banca, así como puedo estar aquí arriba. ¿Por qué, hermano? Porque, Señor, si tú me quieres usar, Lord, if you want to use me, Lord, if my only job is to warm the seat, I'm happy with that. At least that old lady will have a warm seat. Por lo menos la viejita va a tener un asiento caliente. But, Lord, don't let pride take advantage of me. No dejes que el orgullo, hermano, entre a mi vida. And I'm telling you, it's a struggle. Es una batalla, hermano. You're at work, estás en el trabajo, and you think you got it. I'm like, thank you, Lord. And you have to battle the pride that comes into your mind. Tienes que batallar con el orgullo que entra en tu mente. Yes, I got I don't got it. What am I saying? ¿Qué estoy diciendo? I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the Lord. No estuviera aquí si no fuera por el Señor. And you have to fight the thought. Tienes que pelear con la, con la mente. And I'm telling you, I'm not telling you, I'm not making this up. I'm not saying that, oh, this is what some people go through. This is what I go through. Eso es lo que yo paso, hermano, en mi mente, en mi corazón. Why? Because if we're not careful, pride will bring us down. Si no tenemos cuidado, hermano, el orgullo nos va a tirar. And all the good example, y todo el buen ejemplo que pusiste, and all the good speech, and all the good conduct, and all the good faith, and all the purity, it all goes down the drain. Todo se va a, 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 a la basura. ¿Por qué, hermano? Porque dejas que tu orgullo tome el control. ¿Por qué, hermano? Porque que se orgullece. The one that prides himself, the Bible says that God Brings them down. Dios, al que se enaltece, Dios, Él es el que te baja. But those who humble themselves, so lo que se humillan, dicen, Señor, I don't want, 
pride to enter my life. Yo no quiero que el orgullo entre a mi vida. Señor, reprendo este orgullo. Lord, I, I give up this pride. Lord, I humble. Who has to humble themselves? ¿Quién se tiene que humillar? I have to humble myself. The Bible says, humble yourself. Humíate tu hermano. No ask God, God, help me be more humble. No, you humble yourself. No, ni le pides a Dios, Señor, dame el don de humildad. There's no gift of humility. There's only an attitude of humility. No hay regalo de humildad, hermano. Solamente hay una actitud de humildad. And you have to take that attitude and say, you know what, Lord? Let me have the same mindset that was in Christ. Amen. Déjame tener el mismo pensamiento que hubo en Cristo. That he said, you know what? No to pride. No al orgullo. The second thing we have to be careful and beware as youth. The Bible says, so flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace. Along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. The first thing he tells us is, flee youthful passions. Huye, hermano, de las pasiones juveniles. As young Christians, como cristianos jóvenes, temptation is going to come to our life. La tentación va a entrar a nuestras vidas. Los ojos siempre quieren ver. Los oídos siempre quieren escuchar. La boca siempre quiere hablar. The eyes always want to see more. The ears always want to hear more. The mouth always wants to talk more. But the Bible says, flee. What does flee mean? Does flee mean that you see sin and you're like, Like that? No, right? When you're fleeing, you're running for your life. Cuando estás huyendo, hermano, estás corriendo por tu vida. And that's the same thing that has to happen in your mind. Y lo mismo que tiene que suceder en tu mente. Cuando viene el pensamiento de pecado, when the sinful thought comes into your mind, what do you have to do? No, flee from that. Voy a correr. No, no, I run away from that thought. Corro de ese pensamiento. Again, we all have thoughts. Todos tenemos pensamientos. But sometimes instead of fleeing, we entertain those thoughts. En veces, de, en vez de huir, entretenemos las pasiones juveniles. We entertain youthful passions. Then we say, why did I say, por qué, por qué? Because you entertain the thought. Porque tú entreteniste un pensamiento en deber de huir de un pensamiento. Instead of fleeing from that passion, en deber de huir de esa pasión, hermano, corremos. Y nos entretenemos con esa pasión. Like, uh, yes, sir. Y, y, y huir, hermano, es salir de un lugar de peligro. Y uno puede decir, ¿cómo es que uno corre al lugar de peligro? How do we keep running back to the place of danger? You know it's bad for you. Tú sabes que es malo para ti. You know you shouldn't be Googling that. Tú sabes que no debes buscar eso. You know you shouldn't be looking. Sabes que no deberías estar viendo. Sabes que no deberías estar escuchando. You know you shouldn't be talking that. And you do it anyway. We run towards danger instead of fleeing away from danger. Corremos al peligro en deber de huir del peligro. But God gives us the antidote. Dios nos da el antidote. Y dice, pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace. God wants you to flee from youthful passions, but he wants you to pursue righteousness. He wants you to pursue faith. He wants you to pursue love. He wants you to pursue peace. And he's like, hey, and I don't want you to do it alone. Y no quiero que tú los hagas solo. Along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. Al lado de aquellos que buscan y llaman al Señor de un corazón puro. So the Bible tells us, flee. Nos dice, huye, hermano. Huye del orgullo. Flee from pride. Flee from youthful passions. Amen. If you want to make it as a young Christian, si tú quieres llegar, hermano, y hacerla como un cristiano joven, tenemos que aprender a huir. We have to learn how to flee. My mom would always say, patitas, para qué te quiero? Little legs, what do I need you for? And it's so that I can flee. And she would always say, like, in regards to, like, bad stuff. She would say, if you see something bad, run. Si ves algo malo, corre. Eli, flee. Eli, corre, corre, corre por tu vida. Run for your life. Because it depends on you. Depende de ti, hermano, si vas a vivir. Everybody should fight. Everybody should fight for their salvation. With what? With fear? 
and with trembling. Todos deberían trabajar por su salvación con qué, hermano? Con temor y temblor. When you're fleeing, you're not like, no. When you're fleeing, you're fleeing in fear and in trembling. So when sin comes to your life, when evil thoughts come to your life, you're not fleeing all like happy. Let me look back like the woman of, of, of what's his name? Lot. Lot. Thank you. You see? Lot. Lot. What did she do? She was fleeing. We're fleeing the city. And what did she do? And what happened? She turned into a bitter stone. Hey, and when the salt loses its flavor, cuando la sal pierde su sabor, hermano, all is good for Todo lo que es bueno, hermano, es para tirarla, es to throw it out. Yeah. And you'll serve as fertilizer for something. Hermano, we have to learn that in this time, you have the strength. Tienes la fuerza. Tienes todo, tienes todo para ser un ejemplo cristiano. You have everything to be a Christian example. Amen. But we need to learn how to flee. Yeah. Tenemos que aprender, hermano, a huir. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Next week, we'll talk about being, maybe not next week. In a few weeks, we'll talk about being an adult. Not the rate we're going. But maturity, la madurez, y los estados de crecimiento, maturity and the stages of growth, it's so important that we realize where we're at. Es importante, hermano, que nos demos cuenta dónde estamos. Maybe you're still a baby. Tal vez todavía you're like, man, I really sound like the baby. Me escucho como el bebé. There's nothing wrong with that. No hay nada malo con eso. Wrong is to not grow from that. Malo es no crecer de allí, hermano. De quedarse un bebé. De decir, you know what? Whatever, dude. You know, I'll make it. You'll, we'll llegar. Hermano, you know you won't. No vas a llegar, hermano. We're not going to make it. But if we say, you know what, Lord? I want to grow. Señor, yo quiero crecer. Señor, I want to go to the next stage of maturity. Quiero el próximo paso de la madurez. Then I assure you that God will bless you. Dios va a bendecirte. Not only you, he's going to bless your family. He's going to bless your wife. He's going to bless your children. Va a bendecir tu familia, tus hijos, tu esposa. ¿Por qué, hermano? Porque tomaste la decisión de crecer, de madurar. Because you took the decision to mature and to grow up. Why don't we stand? And let us pray. Y oremos en esta noche. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Padre Celestial, te damos gracias. Gracias por tu palabra. Thank you for your word. You're always speaking to us. Siempre nos habla, Señor, y te damos gracias, Señor. Father, tonight we ask you that you give us the strength, Lord, to flee from pride. De salir, Señor, de huir del orgullo. De huir de las pasiones juveniles. To flee you for lust, God. Lord, and to pursue righteousness, God, to pursue love, God, to pursue peace, God. Lord, without peace, Lord, without holiness, the Bible says that no one will see the Lord. La palabra dice, sin paz y sin santidad, nadie verá al Señor. Y Señor, yo te quiero ver. God, I want to see you, Lord. So, Lord, my prayer tonight, God, is that you sanctify us in your word. Señor, santificanos en tu palabra, purificanos en tu palabra, purify us in your word, God. We thank you, Lord. For always speak to you. Gracias, Señor, por siempre hablarnos, Señor. Te damos gracias por lo que están viendo por Facebook, por lo que están viendo por YouTube. We ask that you bless them. Pedimos que les bendiga, Señor. Que les ayudes a crecer. That you help them grow, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, until we meet again. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Can you clap for him?